On this episode of Outdoors in the Bluegrass, Tyler and the Devil Dog head to Taylorsville Lake to put up with the brutal morning wind to get out and do some bass fishing. The bite wasn't so great, but that's all right. Hooked up some hot dogs on some jugs, and they started popping with some channel cats, baby. Let's get out on the boat and see what kind of fish we can catch. Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance, and you're watching Outdoors in the Bluegrass. Outdoors in the Bluegrass is made possible by Lose, feel the difference. Strike King Lures, tie one on. Digital Effects Wraps, advertise the wrap way. Hoghead Trailer Sales, we're all about trailers. Fish 419 Performance Gear, called to fish. Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all for less. Brushy Bottom Camouflage, deceptive, deadly, definition. morning fishing trip with the devil dog and I out at Taylorsville we're gonna do some bass fishing this morning but we're also gonna try and do some jugging but uh, there was a what a 5% chance of rain no wind and if you can see those trees behind me it's it's some heavy wind rough waters and it's been drizzling all the way and there's nothing on the radar so not only can you not trust the weather forecast but you can't trust the weather in the current condition <laughs> It should be interesting. Got it. What is it? Tiny little bass. <laughs> Better than nothing. <clears throat> yep. I'll catch any. Hey, that's a decent one. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> Not a keeper, but bigger than what I've been catching. <laughs> Got two in the boat, a dinker and two inches, and another one two inches shy of keeper size. Stupid wind. Yeah, he's gonna have fun with them jugs in this cove. I'd, be, I'd put them along the bank where there ain't no wind. Looks like he might be, might be decent. Boat flipping. <clears throat> that ain't bad. <laughs> I 
It's about 13. That's better than Beaver Lake Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Like clockwork, it's 9.30 at Taylorsville and the wake boats and pontoons are everywhere and we are rocking. So it's time to switch tactics. The bike's kind of slowed down anyway. So I think we're gonna try and see if we can catch some catfish on some jugs real fast. Find a cove and get away from all these yahoos out here fiddle farting around. We rise at 4 a.m. driven by an overwhelming passion. We're driven by the beasts that roam the waters of this great country. We don't think about stress, or bills, or Monday. We're fishermen, always ready. And as for the gear we hold, trust is everything. Never again should you sacrifice strength for style. The Team Lou's Pro TI Speed Spool. Built for anything you set the hook on. Warriors Tackle Supply. Get tight lines. Hoghead Trailers, we're all about trailers. The foam noodle jugs are out. This is where we caught those three. It, it definitely is because that, that tree those guys were tied up to uh, the last time we were out here earlier this summer and I burnt my scalp. Hopefully we'll see one buoy up here in a minute. Bobbing. Well, yeah, we got two going right now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yee -hoo! laughs> I'll be damned. Yeah, look at him running. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I need to get the words alive in the back right here in my hand that's right that's one and we got another jug bobbing already as soon as we throw him down he's gonna be good eating let's go get this other one Another good size. Yeah, another good one. Well, we got two cats in the boat, and we already got two more bobbing. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, they... Now, that one popped, but I don't see it doing anything anymore. But this one's definitely moving. He's swimming right at us. I'm pro anger Andy Montgomery. I've been making my living with Strike King products for a long time. So when they showed me the new Tour Grade line, I was all in. I knew I could trust it. What I didn't know was how easy it was to use. With the spooling tool and the prepaid envelope to recycle your old line included in every single box. Not only is it the best line on the market, it gives you the easiest fishing experience possible. Find out more at StrikeKing.com. We understand we can't control the environment, but we can control our pattern with high definition imagery, multi-layering depth perception, balance, and light shadowing. Trinity 3D provides the ultimate in deadening edge detection. This pattern refuses to compromise your location by detection, even under the most adverse conditions. We invite you to take a look for yourselves, to see the difference that won't be seen. At the end of the hunt, your success is our success. We wouldn't compromise what you've worked so hard to achieve by being anything less than everything you've put into your hunt. Brushy Bottom Camouflage. Deceptive, deadly definition. Oh yeah, it popped again. There's something on it. Oh, this is This is size. This is tiny. Oh, put your fingers. He'll eat. Oh, yeah. The little ones are the good ones. Alright. Now, where was that other one? Which one was I think there's one on that one over there too, I could be wrong. I will full up now. <laughs> I have to be careful. Thank you. 
pliers. or something get on and get the fish. Yeah. Really good. Hello folks. What we've noticed today is, is the the fish, even with the bass and the catfish, when the sun comes out they bite, when the sun goes away they don't. I said I heard that on television. And see, I always fish in the shade because fish always, you know, especially bass go underneath coverage and stuff, so I would assume they prefer shade, but today it's been the sun out. I mean, we've had a lot of boom, 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 boom tapping at the bait when we were bass fishing, and we've lost a couple off of these noodles that they've grabbed, and by the time we got over there, they're gone, even on circle hooks, but pretty well with the catfish as far as I'm concerned. There's food in the, in the live well. Boy, well, uh, it's almost noon. We'll see if we can get a couple more of these to go under and then we'll go from there. So we started picking up the jugs because we thought the bite was over and we were done and we were going to pick one up and it started running from us. <laughs> so we're going to pick up the rest of them and see if we can find any more. <laughs> All right, that does it for today. We did good today, didn't we? Yeah, we did great. It was a great day. Yeah. We got some bass in the boat. Fishing and weather. Yeah, fishing and weather. We got some bass in the boat. That's the first time, really, this year we've had any decent size and amount of bass in the boat. But, man, the amount of catfish we got today was insane. Now, let me tell you what we did. Let me see if I can find it. Might not be able to get it. Hold on. Hold on. Oscar Mayer all beef hot dogs and fish funk. Soak your hot dogs in fish funk. You'll catch a crap ton of catfish. We caught a crap ton of catfish. Oscar Mayer all beef hot dogs. Good. You can add some garlic powder. Uh, you can always you add some. Fine strawberry, but use cherry gel or cherry Kool Aid powder. Just sprinkle a package or two in there. And then soak it in some fish funk, and you'll be set to go. I mean, we caught, I think we ended up catching like 10 cats. I had to count them to be sure. The live well's full, so it's good eating. So it was a great day out on Taylorsville Lake. We had a lot of fun, and the weather stayed very pleasant compared to the heat wave it's been. And we brought it to you on Outdoors in the Bluegrass.